In 2009, mourners at a funeral in Dundee, Scotland, were shocked to see a man wearing a bright neon dress among the mourners. Upon learning the reason why, some of the mourners' initial shock gave away to unbridled grief. Earlier that year, friends Barry Delaney and Kevin Elliott had met during a regular evening in Delaney's apartment to swig a few drinks and catch up. Elliott had been on a break from his tour to Afghanistan as a member of the British Army. During the course of the evening, Elliott had told Delaney that he was terrified of the prospect of going back to Afghanistan and that he feared he may not return from his posting at Helmand if he went back. However, Delaney had chided him that he better come back because of a pact the duo had made three years earlier. Delaney would wear a dress, the brighter the better, if Elliot was killed in action. The two friends did not know how soon their pact would be realized. Just six weeks after that evening's events, Elliot, who was a Blackwatch infantryman, would be killed in an ambush. A few weeks later, at Elliot's funeral, a heartbroken Delaney would keep his word and don a neon dress from Primark and knee high socks to keep his promise. Most of the people in attendance were aware of the Friends Pact and were sympathetic to the massive loss suffered by Delaney. Delaney and Elliott's Pact made national and international headlines in 2009 and serves as a reminder of the pain suffered by those who are left behind upon the death of a soldier killed in action. <laughs> <laughs>